I bought this mechanically totaled 2006 Mercedes R500 from the famed car YouTuber Sam Crack. And in the last video, I've done a bunch of necessary maintenance that was deferred in this car. And on this video, I'm going to continue to change whatever I need to make it drivable. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to DCF Garage. Today, I'm going to work on the Mercedes R500 that I bought from Sam Crack. And my wife has nicknamed Jabberjaw because it's a big white shark. And I have the rear shocks that I bought from Rock Auto. I paid 150 bucks for each one. They're probably made in China. Although it says here that it's designed to meet or exceed OEM specifications, which I highly doubt. But I'm going to put it in anyway. It's absolutely horrible to ride in the car right now because both of the rear shocks are shot. So there's no rear dampening happening in the car. Because different from the E class, the R class has an airbag separate to the shock in the rear right so in the front they're both combined in the rear you have the shocks and you have the airbag separated but anyway we are going to work on this it should be really straightforward how hard can it be it's a couple of bolts here a couple of bolts here and the manual says we have to remove the side paneling on the trunk and then we get to actually working on the struts and it does really not look so hard it looks really straightforward so let's uh, get this show on the road There's a button here with a gas pump drawn. I have no idea what this is for. I just unclipped it. Make sure you do that. It's probably important. Who knows? It should come out now. Okay. I don't need to take anything else apart. Both of the bolts are here. So one is here. The other one is going to be over there, over here. So I can access the bolts on both sides just by removing the side paneling. Um, the manual does ask me to support the suspension. Is a 24. Let's see if it comes out with the Harbor Freight impact. Is a 13 millimeter. Oh, there's this little zip tie. Let me break it. All right, got it out doesn't look bad now would I have to remove the liner you can see how shot this is look this is horrible 
all things come apart. There you go. In with the new. But I'm gonna just pull it back so it makes my life a bit easier to push this in. So after moving the liner, makes it a lot easier to line up the holes. All right, so I used a jack to lift up the suspension, so I got this just lined up. I'm gonna go up and screw it. And I'm gonna go back with the old nut and the washer, because they just seem better quality than the one that came with the shock. All right, it's in. Okay, we're not supposed to tighten these one just yet. You gotta tighten it with, uh, with load in the suspension. There you go. You have to put the suspension in a neutral position according to the manual. Now, let's tighten the bolts. According to the manual, the top bolts are gonna be 35 Newton meters. This bottom bolt, the manual says it's 100 newton meters first stage. Second stage, it's going to be 120 degrees. So I'm going to use this cheap angle torque tool to see, you know, if I can get the 120. Let's see if this works. All right, so that's 100 newton meters. We got to do another 120 degrees. Let me set up this contraption here. It's set to zero degrees. We have to get to 120. Let's call that 120. So we're good here. I got the connector in, it gave me just a little bit of trouble to slide everything in place, but everything is connected on this side. Oh gosh. All right. Oh, it's completely shot. Look at that. It's the top is blown. Because this is a different nut, I'm going to put some thread locker.
All right, guys, just to wrap up the video, I got the two shocks in place. The car is ready to go on the ground. Let me show you the state of the previous shock. They were absolutely destroyed. The top blew off. It's leaking. You know, it's, it's probably the original shocks that the car had. So hopefully it's going to ride a lot better now. And we can also go to our whiteboard and cross out the rear shocks because that is done. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have and you've reached, you know, this far, just make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing. Thank you.